Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day. Today we are playing, well, continuing our playthrough of The Long Dark. The last one, we got attacked by a bear right over there. Pretty sweet. Well, by the bear. The only bear. And then we came across this. Kind of, kind of curious. What does this do? Green birch sapling. Freshly harvested birch sapling needs to be cured before it can be used for crafting and repair. Can be used for crafting and repair after air drying indoor for, indoors for four days. Um, I'm guessing we can make a bow out of it and arrows. That's my guess. How much does it weigh? 0.2 kilograms? That's okay. That's great. That seems like a, like, gross underweight for, for a green, for a green tree of any kind. But that's okay. We'll take it. We're still underweight. Great. Hopefully by the time that we get back to the trapper's cabin... Then, wait, wait, do we just take a wrong turn? Hopefully when we get back there, um, all those... Oh my gosh. We're way up here. Yeah. Um, can we get back down from here? Or do we have to backtrack? But hopefully uh, we can make some cool clothes when we get back to the cabin. That might be the way, huh? Go up there? I, I have no idea. Now we are just wandering around <laughs> because I think we're going to hopefully find a way there. But so, okay. I mentioned it in the last video. In case you didn't see that one, I'll go over it again. We're going to go from right here. We're in the center of the screen. We're going to follow the edge of the screen, hopefully, all the way around. Up here, we're going to take this edge of the map all the way up until there. What I would usually do is like straight shot it. We'd like go back down to like the, the old Spence family homestead. And then go straight across the water. You know, like, I take the shortest route. But um, I kind of mentioned in the last one that we're going to do a little bit of exploring in this area. And it's going to be more like, the term I used was broad strokes exploring. We're not going to go and, like, search the edge of every single rock to see if there's a little tiny ammo box full of six granola bars. We're not doing that. We're looking more for, like, um, blinds, like hunting blinds, cabins, um, outbuildings, fishing huts, things like that. Also, I'm not sure if those, like, the little ca uh, caches, like the ammo box things, or, like, the forest talker caches, um, if those appear, I think you have to have the quest to make them appear. Is that, do you see a shadow right there? It looked like it. Maybe there's a bird up in the fog, and, like, the way the game works, the shadow is projected to the ground, even though there's not enough light to see, or, like, the visibility isn't great enough for us to see it. Doing good on survival mechanics. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it right now. Hopefully this weather holds um, when it comes nighttime and we can sleep out here again. Like, you know, just sleep outside. Our clothes. That's like the one thing you have to watch out for is if it snows and your clothes get wet. And then you sleep outside and they all freeze and like they, they just lose a ton of durability. What's interesting to me is like there are, ton, there are so many rocks on the surface of the snow. Okay, so this is... Oh, nothing. What is this? Landslide? We don't want to be on that thing because it's steep ground. And, um, I have sprained an ankle on... In this game, I have sprained an ankle on steep ground even when we weren't overburdened. And then even if we're just standing on it, um, it kind of like rolls... It rolls the chances, like on dice, every like 30 seconds or something that you're on there. I'm not sure, but that's how it seems to me. What is... What is that? Is that just, like, deadfall? Yeah, it looks like it, I guess. Again, we are kind of looking... Oh, is that a cave inside there? There is, huh? Or, like, it's kind of like, uh, not, not dug out, but, like, the... There, there's a cavity. It's cavitating. Oh, no, it's a passage to this side. Pretty cool. I think we still want to keep going this way, though. Follow the edge of the map. Like, I'm tempted to go down there just, just to see what there is, but... We're going to stay up here and see what there is. They okay, found the railroad tracks. Now the question is... Can we go... Is there, like, a little land bridge that'll take us over the top? I doubt it. Doesn't look like it on the map, but... 
There have been many, yeah, not, not even. There have been many instances where the map didn't, the map was wrong. I'm feeling an invisible wall coming on up here. That looks pretty steep, though. Maybe they don't need an invisible wall. Yeah, can't go up that. Can we go up here? Yeah. Get up there. Get up there, guy. Oh, no, that's the invisible. Oh, there we go. Can we get... Yeah, there we go. That's it right there. Nope. That's... That's an invisible wall. I think. Can't really tell. No. Ah, oh, man. Are we gonna be able to get it? We be able to get it? Get there, Will. Come on, guy. What's up there? What's up? Can we get up here? Oh, it looks like it. We're, we're kind of... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sweet. There is a little thing we might be able to get across. There is the tunnel. But let's save the game in case we fall and break everything. Oh, this will be interesting. Because it comes out here and then it ends. This little the snow that we're on right now. Let's see if we can get across here. Yep. Okay, and then go up. Can we get up there? Yeah! Ish. Kind of, ah, no. There we go. Just gotta work the magic. Wolves down. Whoa, what's off in the distance? See that, see that line? Yeah, there's like, in the middle of the screen, there's kind of like a faint horizontal line. It looks like, um, you know, it's just kind of, it, it's the, it, like something with the draw distance. Some kind of a, not a glitch, but you know, something like that where, ah, oh, we're going to sprain something here. I know it. <laughs> yeah, we're an Ibex. There we go. Oh, the, oh yeah, perfect. Here we go. What, what did this get us? I don't know. Because, like, we were exploring, right? That's that's the whole point of going that far um, to the edge of the map. Still, still want to save rounds if we can. Rifle rounds don't make themselves... Pretty tough to explore when you can't see more than 200 feet. You know what I mean? Like, we couldn't even see, like, the outline of a building. At any distance. There's this. Nothing. A place to make a campfire, basically. Oh. No, cool. Alright, my eyes deceive me. We're not really able... We weren't able to go, like, as far up on the... I think this is the edge of the map right here. It doesn't look like it on the on the map, but in the world, this is the edge. Now that we know what this stuff looks like, the lichen and, like, where... You know, that it just grows on dead trees. And, uh, you know, I was talking about cloth um, a, a couple videos ago. How we, we had to make the snow shelter near the trapper's cabin so we could sleep there. And not freeze to death and go through all that mess. Anyway, the cloth has become more valuable because we've used so much of it. And so as much as I've made fun of the cloth so far in this playthrough, and like, it, it's still it's still questionable to me that it takes 20 minutes or 10 minutes to tear apart socks to turn them into cloth. Oh, going the wrong way. Totally wrong way. Anyway, the cloth has become more scarce. And so if we can use the uh, the lichen to make bandages, I think that's a good trade-off, especially considering that it weighs less. Sad tree. Mo and most of our sustenance so far, actually all of our sustenance so far in this area, after coming out here, has been from reeds. From the cattails. Unfortunately, right now, there aren't any. Bummer. There's some more lichen on this tree, though. What? Why does it do that? Huh. I guess just... I, I went to left-click on the lichen, and then, like, it, it jerked. And that happens sometimes when we're aiming the rifle, too. Okay, which way do we... Oh, we're totally facing the wrong way. Going the entirely wrong way. 
That's all right. There's more lichen here. Maybe we'll come across some cattails. We are getting hungry. This deep snow um, is it's it's burning calories faster sometimes. So we get like two down arrows on the food, like the hunger mechanic. I hear wolves. I wonder if we can kill a wolf and then harvest the meat and then use that meat to um, as decoys for other wolves. <laughs> Make them, like, you know, uh, cannibalize each other, or, you know, like, be cannibals. Oh. Okay. That's great, but weird. Did, did you see it? The fog just, like, disappeared. Well, this is a lot easier to explore now. You can see quite a ways. That a, no, it's a stump. I thought it was a building over there. Going the right way, kind of. We're going to try something here. We are overburdened now. But what? I don't want to try. We need a bunch of sticks. Well, more than we have. What is that? Oh, feathers? Oh, that's... Oh, shoot. I thought it was a stick. It's just a footprint. There's a deer right here. So it's 100% frozen. Hmm. One kilogram of deer meat. I, I wish it would tell us how many calories we get. It takes 10 minutes and 51 calories to burn. I mean, to harvest it. What time of day is it? Okay, sun's kind of going down. We're going to do a one... Two kilograms. Oh, all of it, I guess. Not not quite two kilograms, huh? It's 1.9. Too heavy. Oh, we know. Venison raw, but, but what is it? Let's see here. Food. Venison. So moldy venison. This is one that just drives me nuts. The, the deer is killed in the wild by a wolf, right? The, the wolf goes through, eats what it wants to. Why is it moldy? It's freezing out, right? What, what's the temperature? Yeah, it's negative 7. It's freezing. The mold is not going to grow. It's So anyway, we can still cook it. But I, I haven't really found any reeds out here, so we need some other food. Like We have plenty of um, like processed food in our backpack. But it'd be nice to not have to use that if we if we're gonna be out here for a while i talked about that also a few videos ago was like uh, maybe in the next area trying to just limit what we carry to what we need and then being more mobile to where we can put up a snow shelter anywhere and just live off the land i think that's like truly the, the way the game is meant to be played but they're not really forcing it on the player because they give so many resources I'm curious what's up there. I guess that's the way to the radio tower, huh? You can see it up there. Well, the weather has been great. The weather's been just awesome. Uh, as far as cold and wind and everything, it's been really favorable for us. And it has been for a while. So my my feeling is that it, it won't be for much longer. Just, you know, like thinking about averages and stuff. What is up here? Oh, there's a there's a tree bridge? Is that how we have to get over to the radio tower? That'd be that'd be ridiculous, right? If if they would build a radio tower that was like on a pile of rocks that was inaccessible except by a tree like a, a yeah, a tree bridge. We're I don't know how many sticks we're going to need, but that venison is going to take a long time to cook. Long time. So we'll need a bunch more firewood so we can fuel the fire for longer. No, it's not a tree bitch. Okay, good. You know, one thing I, I hadn't considered yet was the bear. Maybe the bear is over here. If that's the case, I don't think that we want to be so overburdened. We might also be able to drop the venison as a... Oh, there it is. Oh, Not this again. How's our... Okay, our stamina's good. It's full. Now. Get it, Will. Get it. 
<laughs> Get it. Oh, that was tough. That was tough. That took a long time. Oh, was that it? Was that? Oh, the death throws. The oh, will. Oh, you beast. Affliction, laceration. Oh, no, no, cancel. No, wait, what? Affliction, oh, I guess, okay, healed? Oh, man, tense. This is tense. The bear's, okay, it sees us. We're good on stamina, good enough. Fight back, Will, fight it. Don't let it get you, don't succumb. We've come so far, there we go. Oh, what, another one? Another one. If the bear doesn't run away all the way, it means that we have to fight again. Oh, he sounds like a predator. Or like a car, huh? Okay. Okay, our, our stamina is good. Now. No, no! Oh, I missed it! Oh, no, and it's been so long since I've saved the game. Oh, Will screams. Oh, they just like, oh, give me the heebie-jeebies. I missed it. I waited too long. I'm cutting it too close with the stamina. You died from loss of blood and shock from a bear attack. Oh, okay, two minutes ago. <laughs> the game did it for us. We don't, we don't have to, like, go across, like, that skinny land bridge and exploit going over the, uh, I don't think. Or do we? No, we're good. We're good. We're just going to come up here. <laughs> okay. What are we at here? 30? We're not even that overburdened. I'm hesitant to put the meat down in case it spoils even more. We're going to... Let's, let's get all fixed up here. Let's get ready for this. We know it's coming. Gosh, I want to get one of these fights, like, on the first try. Last time... Let's see. Drop. And... Oh, it's only two... What? Oh, that's right. It was only 1.9 kilograms of meat, wasn't it? Let's eat, um... This. Eat it. Good to go. Yeah, I want to get one of these bear fights, like, on the first try instead of getting mauled. We'll get better. We'll get better. I won't wait so long to put the spear down. Manage the, um... It's not like eating all of it. Managing the stamina better. And drink some water. We have that MRA and peanut butter, though. Those are our go-to. Plus the box of crack crackers. Crockers is about, uh... What is it, 600 calories? Get the spear out. Trusty Bertha. No, I don't want to call it Bertha. There it not is. This again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just look at that stamina just drain. Fight back, Will. Fight it. You got this. Get the bear. Okay, good, good, good. Torn clothing. Brutal. See, that could be we're saving the cloth. As much as I've made fun of it before. Nice work, Will. Nice. There's one. How many more do we have to do? Where'd it go? It's over there. Was, I, I don't even know what our stamina is like. I wish that it would show it. Like, if it's not full, I wish that it would show the stamina so we could see and whew, judge our our moves here. Plan it out. Okay, he sees us. Now. Yeah, get it. Get it, Will. Get it. Get some. Get some. Affliction, minor bruising. Is it gone? Nope. We need we need to recover some more stamina though. Holy cow. This is one tough bear, isn't it? There's no blood on the spear. It's coming at us. The music changed. It made some nope. Okay, now it's back down on all fours. I'm just assuming. You know, we've done this a few times. There it is. You can see the arrows. Stamina. I guess if you just hold shift, you can see it. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now. Oh, yeah. Get some. Get some. Oh, Will, come on. You got this. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah. 
If you didn't see the last video with the bear attack, it was three. Th we had to fight off the bear three times. And that was it, but I still hear it out there. That bear has an uncanny sense of timing. Yeah, no joke, dude. Okay, and then when Will, when Will says something like that, it's basically our, it's our cue to, yeah, we're done. Let's get our meat to moldy venison. Awesome. That, I'm surprised that, that doing that doesn't fatigue us more. It's like grappling and uh, just, you know, kinesthetic stuff like that. It's like one of the, like, the most... Well, the fatiguing things you can do, especially grappling. Yeah, we're not grappling the bear, but you know, it's it's a similar activity. This is a supply chest, right? Supply bin? This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, it will. Yes, it will. Look at that. Yes, it will, Will. Okay, transponder parts. Nice. Oh, cool. Containers to search. Oh, it says they're empty. <laughs> that, is that it? There's usually more, like a backpack or, I don't know, something. I guess the supply bin was good. Okay, it's... Oh, bring this... Okay. Transponders back to Jeremiah. Hmm. It's all the way on the other side. We, we could take... You know, just, like, hug the edge of the map again. I think that I would drop it down. I'd basically try to go, like, halfway between the edge of the map and the railroad track. So, which would put us about, like, where that mountain is. We'd go, like, on the north side of that mountain. North side of this water right here. And then we would uh, come back around to the railroad tracks. We're halfway fatigued. Hmm. Oh, and we already ate all the food. I mean, like, we, we, yeah, so we don't need the venison. Let's just go. Let's go do it. Oh, I thought that was something there. And then sticks. I don't think we need the sticks. Let's drop that, too. Drop all. And drop the cedar firewood. That's good. That's kind of like our bare minimum fire starting kit. Except for that. We don't need that. We only need two fire plugs. What else do we have that we don't need that, you know, that we picked up along the way? A flare. We'll keep, we'll keep that. Flares are useful. Good thing this spear doesn't require, I mean, like any kind of maintenance. You just build it and it's magic. Next, the ne oh man, the next time we're going to get that bear. First try. Or, you know, like first, first round. There's another sapling up here. Is that a birch sapling? It's not, is it? What is this? Maple sapling? Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. Same thing as uh, the birch. Okay. Like, same description. Oh. Hello. Cat tail stock. Oh, but okay. I can still eat this. Yeah, we can. Oh, cooked venison. That's still good. Food? Gamey venison cooked. Mmm. 800 calories. Jeez. But we... I'm not sure. No, I don't... I think it's still good. Like, we don't have to worry about food poisoning. That's the only thing I was worried about there. It says gamey, which I think just means like, eh, it's, it's questionable. It's not going to taste the best. It probably won't hurt you, though. That's kind of what I take from that. Who, who was out here, though? <laughs> That's the question. Who was out here hunting? Because that, that's what it looks like, right? Wolves can't cook with a fireplace or a, a campfire. I don't like the drop here. And we're overburdened. We're going to come down this slope and sprain something, for sure. But we're, we'll be all right. We have bandages and stuff. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. That was, that was bad. Bummer. I forgot the bear tore our clothing, too. 99. Okay. Oh, 41. The gloves. That makes sense. Boots. Does not make sense. Pants. Yeah, okay. Well, good thing we, we're starting to save cloth. It'd be cool if you could use the um, the lichen as, as cloth. I don't know. Like, 
Oh, let's take um, take care of some of these afflictions. Strained wrist. Oh, that's it. How do we tear our clothes falling? Like you know, like done. No, okay. Never mind. Yeah, use it there, and then we have to use painkillers, which we just have like we always have just this huge abundance of pain. And are we good? Yeah, we're good. I think. Edge of the screen edges of the screen haven't unblurred yet, but we alright. Yeah, this is about where we wanted to go. Hmm. Let's check on that um medicine. It's still gamey. I don't think it said gamey when we picked it up, did it? There's some cattail stalks. Those are good. Good eating. So here's this, here's the mountain. We kind of like ran into it and I, it, it looks like we might not be able to go to the, like the north of it up there. I don't know. But, um, where do you go over here? saw something. I think I saw something. No, maybe not. I wonder if we can get up there. I saw it looked like a cabin. But now I'm get it might have been like the, the coloring on the rocks right there. We can't get up that. Slow down, Will. Dude, slow down, man. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I could have sworn I s saw a building. No, I must have been wrong. South side of the mountain it is. Another cave thing? Or is this a passage? Or, nope, dead end. That's it. I bet you that, like, you know, if you, if we keep playing and then we get a, like, a cash, a cash location from a note or something, like, like, from doing a quest or whatever, or finding a dead body, whatever, you know, like, Hank's Hatch, that kind of situation, I bet you it'll tell us to come back to that point. And then they will magically have spawned a cash box in there. This is the north side of the mountain. See, we're up here now. This looks good. What's in here? Nothing? Well, we could at least, uh, sleep here. Oh yeah, there it is. He's just letting us know. Hey everyone, I'm tired. My name is Will and I'm tired. There we go. Right there, I think uh, vitals are good. We're gonna sleep. I'm gonna call this video here though. I was hoping to get back all the way, uh, you know, to there. And then get back to the trapper, but it just didn't happen. That's what exploring does, right? It just takes time and... It's an undetermined amount when you set out to do it. So this game's called The Long Dark. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. I release content every day, and we'll see you in the next one.